Hey guys, today I've decided to reset this first container in my polytunnel garden into a fall container. These are banana peppers and they're looking quite chlorotic. I have given them uh, different types of fertilizer, uh, some more compost, all kinds of things. But plants, annual vegetable plants, do have a life expectancy. And at some point they start to ail and some of the fruit might be a little misshapen. Um, I do have a few peppers left to harvest, but as you can see, they're kind of making funny shapes and funny colors, and um, there's really no point in me eking this along unless I'm just crazy about banana peppers, and I've already gotten lots of banana peppers to enjoy this summer. So I just think it's time to say goodbye to this plant Freshen up the soil, and I think what I'm going to do is put a couple of cabbage starts in there. And if they don't get eaten by white flyer rabbits, they should be really pretty as the front part of this bed as they grow larger. Plus, I really need a sunny spot for my cabbage, so I'm going to be looking for places to tuck my little cabbage starts in. So um, the first thing I'm going to do is just pull out these plants. I can move my little geranium cuttings over here just over here and actually right over here under this tomato and actually that's going to help keep the tomato moister it's going to hold in the moisture to have those pots there so I can go ahead and just let those sit over there I do have some geraniums, which I'll just move. It's no big deal. Okay, guys, I'm going to have to put the camera down to pull out these uh, heavily rooted peppers. Okay, here are the old ailing banana peppers taken out. They'll be chopped up and added to the compost. And I had three nice pink geraniums in there hiding under the peppers. So I went ahead and potted them up right away so they don't dry out. I'm gonna give them a nice long watering. And I'm gonna refresh the tub of soil with this Organic Mechanics Planting Mix Compost Blend. So this is a soil I just picked up at Whole Foods and it's an organic soil. I don't completely use organic soils. I will buy miracle Grow when it's on sale, basically whatever's on sale. And this happened to be on sale at Whole Foods. So I'm gonna dump some of this in, in the bin because obviously uh, it was a bit nutrient deficient, but also it could just be that these plants were getting older. So um, let me refresh the soil. I'm just gonna dump it in and I'm gonna fork it in with my uh, small spade. You don't need much. This is a nice rich compost. And the soil seemed kind of dry. I think it's just kind of dried out. Again, soil needs refreshing too, not just plants. So I'm just adding, I don't know, about a third of a bag here of this compost mix. And I'm just going to fork that in right now, just like this. And I think I'm going to need two hands for this. Just going to mix it into the spent soil so that my cabbages have a good chance uh, to get some nutrition and do well in this bin. All right, the container is all ready to plant up with a couple of my cabbage seedlings. Uh, I wanted to mention that it was so dry I only encountered one worm and that was towards the bottom. So this soil is really deplete of any moisture and probably nutrients. So I'm glad I had that uh, third of a bag of compost to add in. I'll come along and add some more organic fertilizer, but um, I think that's gonna do a good job refreshing this space so I can grow a couple of cabbages. And one would probably be good in a container this size, but I'm short on space, so I'm gonna push it and put in two. And there they are. I just need to put some water on this. This is a heavy container here. I'm doing it left-handed. 
And I'm just going to water these in really, really well. Going to keep after the watering for about a week. Come out here every day. Really get this soil and these seedlings well watered. And I'm going to be checking them for white fly eggs. I actually did find a couple which I dispatched with before I planted them, but I don't want them to take out my brand new seedlings. Let me give these geraniums a nice soak. Looks like I'm going to need another can of water. But the last thing I'm going to do, guys, is to put over a couple of these baskets. Uh, I don't know where my landscape pins are, but I might try to scrounge them up. But I'm going to put them right on here and work them down a little bit. And hopefully, I'm going to discourage any rabbits that might be able to access this. I don't know how high they can jump. Probably pretty high. But um, I'll discourage any birds or rabbits while they're small from taking them out. Once they get larger, they can hold their own. But I'm going to go ahead and do that. And guys, I think that looks a lot neater. Much neater than some ailing banana peppers. So guys, don't be afraid to rip out some of your things that have been growing over the summer, even if they're still producing. If they don't look good, they're at the end of their life cycle. And also, your soil could need a big refresh. So I'm going to be sure to be adding some liquid fertilizer over here and probably some slow-release organic fertilizer. But I'm going to go place my geranium plant somewhere and maybe they'll put up some pink blooms if I put them in the sun. They were in the shade of the peppers. But thanks so much for watching and I'll keep you posted on whether I can grow cabbage. I've never done it before. I hope you're having fun in your garden.